It's been two years since I got released from jail. I lost five years off my life and I wish I could have at least documented everything that happened. So I promised myself that when I got out, my first few steps of regaining my life will be videoed so I can start sharing my story. Ang bilis ng two years and it'll be my first time to enter the jail I was once locked in. To bring happiness to a place that once made me cry. As you can see, ang dami namin dala. I had a rough morning and I was supposed to vlog this entire process of, you know, putting together all these donations, all these giveaways for the people inside jail. But it was such a rough morning kasi may mga nawawala. I will find alternates and basta the whole point is to be able to give the girls things that will make them happy. And as promised, since before, pinag-uusapan namin, ang, ang sarap siguro mabigyan ng makeup, ang sarap siguro mabigyan ng mga kikay stuff. We will be able to do that thanks to our donors on this jail visit. This is my second year free dumpstery and I really wanted to make this extra special by going back to the jail that I was from and I think it's gonna be a little bit emo but yung mga tao pa kasi sa loob na naging close ko na nandun pa rin. And di ba, alam mo yung feeling na ako nakalaya na sila nasa loob pa rin. Medyo sad. So for now, we will entertain them a little bit. I'm thinking of singing kasi may isang kanta na kung hindi ako nabigyan ng meal, parang play ko yun every single day. And then nag-emote-emote kami na nag-holding hands kami. So, tingnan ko kung kaya ng powers ko pantahin namin today yun. And last night, one of the coordinators who has already been released after 10 years of being in prison, tinulungan ko siya. I gave her a lawyer and he did it pro bono. Thank you, lawyer. Tandem ulit kami kasi usually kung ano nangyari, we have an event. Tapos she uh, organizes the entire, hindi naman organize, but helps me organize the event. And then she plays the music, hosts it, and then I just write the script and all. I invited her to come. I bought the food from her since yun yung business niya ngayon. And I wanted to support her. Kakalaya lang niya last year. 9 a.m. yung ulit natin schedule natin doon. It's 8.41. And then I have surprise artists that will be joining me. O ba? I really made an effort to invite. The last time I went to a jail sa San Juan City, I brought artists too. But this time, different groups of friends naman to. And they were so nice to come. I'm planning to talk about one week in terms of like all this stuff. And meron pang madideliver dun mismo sa jail. Thanks to Samantha Bernardo who really like contributed. She got brands to send stuff to the jail. Na Kikai, I'm so happy. Beauty Life, I didn't expect them to even help me out. Pero they made little bags, hygiene kits, and place stuff inside. I had some donors, tapos I used the money to, to fill in the hygiene kits. I'm so I'm so excited to see their faces. Ito na, ito na, papasok na kami sa area. So I'll be honest, medyo kinakabahan ako for some weird reason. Unang una, that place gives me the creeps. Ina naman yung mga weird streets. episode is sobrang close to my heart. It's my second free dumpstery. So, ibig sabihin nun, two years na ako sa Laya. So, can you imagine life outside? Eh, paano pa naman yung life inside? In this vlog, kakaiba po to. Kasi, finally, nabayagan tayo na pumasok sa facility na kung saan nagstay ako for nearly five years here in Pasig City Jail. The idea of just returning, I felt kinda emotional but at the same time, I'm here to make them happy. Kasi, promise ko talaga sa kanila na one, is babalik ako. Two, magdadala ako ng sakatutang tak na kikay stuff and then three magdala ng mga artista kasi sabi ko paglabas ko magiging artista ako so <laughs> finally nangyari yan and I do have a lot of surprise friends that are here eto na yon guys sana maging successful sana maging masaya sila and whew, this is gonna be a journey back to my five years see you guys Dito na sila lahat, 165 dito sa Pasig City Jail. So happy na dito yung mga friends ko. Oh, I have Peach. He's one of my really good friends. And of course, Diana. Sa days pala na nagpo-model kami, talaga ever since before, she's been so warm and always present. I, I love her too. And of course, I have my co-host from my talk show before on Pai Channel, Ray Lai! 
Renee Dominique is here. Hello! I'm excited. But she's been at uh, CIW, yes. the correctional facility. This is my second time in a place like this. I'm what, what are you expecting? Just a lot of laughs, fun, and I'll serenade them, so hopefully they get inspired. <laughs> and lastly is Baby Ocho's Gino Rocky, who is a really known businessman. Pero siyempre, alam mo dito kasi, may mga, mga trabaho silang bawal. Kaya I would like Gino Rocky to teach them how to do it. <laughs> Pero mayroon, may, may, may premium. 
Supporters, my Karen Natic, specifically Rondam Lau, and Angie Cooks Padios Alarba, my sister Ate Joy, her hubby Andy, and her friend, like Karen Kunowik, plus my mom for doing last minute shopping. And thank you, Michelle Teresa of Beauty Life, for packing gifts for the PDLs. Do support your active wear for queens because this queen does know how to share and care. Lastly, thank you to Samber, my fellow PB celebrity housemate. She was so excited to come to visit. However, she felt a little pain from her recent surgery so she couldn't come last minute. Nevertheless, her presence was extremely felt when she brought in lipsticks by Ever Belena. What a feast! Perfumes by Blackwater, Hello Glow, and gallons of Alani alcohol by Mestiza Soap. Amazing! So do support these brands that share their blessings. And likewise, I'm so glad the ladies felt like they were showered with gifts for at least a day so their smiles fill our hearts. May they feel that God is definitely good. This is my spot. The way I made it, Ito ba yung na-visualize mo or sobrang completely different? I don't know. It, I 
I had a different picture in my head. Here, I was expecting it to be more ibang-iba. First time ko dito, medyo hindi ko alam kung anong i-expect. I kind of knew what to expect, but one thing that I know for sure is... Ma'am Warden, okay, you've been to five jails now. Yes. Umiyak pa ba kayo when you see a situation na parang very difficult na isang ano, uh, PDL, Persons Depriving Liberty, does it still affect you? In terms of challenges dito sa jail na to, ano yung mga nakikita nyo right now? Na parang sana ma-improve, sana makatulong yung hirap ng mga PDL natin for employment once they go off. 